you know, when we have a thought is we, we assume that it is a truth, like that this is a fact, right? That it is, you know, we'll just continue to use that, you know, really simple example of, you know, it, you know, I shouldn't take a break. I should just keep on working, right? So I, if I take that thought as a truth, right, then of course I feel compelled, you know, to um, behave accordingly, right? But this is the other piece of sort of looking at that thought and, and really trying to investigate, like, is it really true? Mm -hmm. Right. Because again, that's the part that like, we just go about our life thinking things. It's a very ingrained belief system that we all have because, you know, we think something and then because, you know, because we act on that and we feel certain ways because of that thought, it self-reinforces it. So we think it over and over and over again. Um, and I would say, I mean, the other piece, you know, for codependence is that we're, we're often in relationships with people who will reinforce those thoughts and those beliefs as well, right? They will tell us things again. Um, so, right, it's not a lot of it is stuff that we bring with us from childhood. But then, you know, if we're sort of recreating, you know, similar relationship patterns with people who are once again saying, eh, you know, you have, you know, you need to do that, you know, that's your job, or, you know, you're lazy for taking a break, right, that's going to, again, reinforce that thought that, you know, I better, I better not take a break, that's a, a terrible thing for me to do, I don't deserve a break, right, I'm not, you know, only, you know, people who've, you know, done everything perfectly, or, you know, worked really hard, get breaks, but not me, um, Okay. Right. And so, right. That becomes, like I said, it, it feels like it feels like it's a truth. Right. Um, and it's only if, you know, you, you know, it definitely takes work. Right. I'm not trying to, you know, say that this is this is an easy task at all. Um, but but what we need to do is really, you know, consider the possibility again that, well, maybe, you know, maybe this isn't 100 percent true. Yeah. You know, how could I figure that out? And I think even just having, you know, having the idea that it's. Um, possibly not true is at least opening the door a little bit there um, to consider that, um, you know, maybe there's another way to look at this, or maybe there are some other things that are true about me um, that I could consider, um, you know, yeah. or, or again, it's almost like, you know, instead of just thinking of it as, as, you know, um, all or nothing, um, right. Maybe there's some middle ground here too. Uh, maybe sometimes it's okay for me to take a break and other times I really should right. keep working. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All or nothing thinking. I'm glad you mentioned that. Cause I was going to ask you about that. That, that is an experience that I definitely frequently have as far as being rather codependent in many ways and the type of thinking that sometimes gets me stuck. And I know so many other people have that kind of all or nothing black or white kinds of <laughs> kind of mm -hmm. kind of thinking. So yeah, I'm glad you I'm glad you touched on that. And and yeah, just the simplicity of is it true? I, I love that. That's actually like my my partner Ike's favorite question for 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 everybody is is it true? It's well, so it's simple. Surprising, but it's surprisingly hard to answer sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um the other the other question that I, I have found helpful is to ask yourself, is is this a fact or is this an an opinion? Mm -hmm. Um Right. And that's an interesting question, you know, to consider, because I think a lot of times we're, we're, we're going through life thinking something's a fact, but maybe this is actually, it's my opinion or it's your opinion about, you know, about me or what I should be doing. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and again, if, if it's an opinion, then, it, then it opens up that possibility that, okay, well, we could possibly have differing opinions about things. Um, as well. And there's, you know, an opinion is not inherently right or wrong, right? It's simply one person's um, belief about something. Um, you know, and again, I think as we sort of talk about, you know, recovering from codependency, one of the things that we want to do is to develop our own opinions and feel like they're, they're valid, just as valid as anybody else's opinion. Um, and certainly our opinions about ourselves are very important. Um, and, and that's something that we get to choose. We, we get to choose what we think about ourselves. We don't have to accept um, what people have been telling us. Right. Yeah. So one question around that would be, I guess, when someone is in the mindset or in the opinion of I'm not good enough, and I know this is a big core foundation of what you do in your work, how, how would you walk someone through having that thought a lot in their life and that affecting their behavior and their relationships? 
Well, I think, you know, that is such a big, you know, it feels like a very broad um, belief or thought to have. I'm not good enough, right? That covers us so, you know, so many aspects um, of who we are that I would really be interested in finding out what does that specifically mean for you? In what way do you think that you're not good enough, um, right? Is that in, you know, everything? I think that's our, our tendency mm-hmm. is to say I'm not good at everything, right? Well, you know, I'd, you know, I'd really have a hard time believing that you're not, you know, good enough at anything in your life. Um, and again, I think part of the, um, the questions that we want to ask is, well, who's getting, who's deciding that, that you're not good enough? Um, right. And it's not that other people's opinions don't have any bearing. I mean, they certainly do, especially if it's a person who you're very close to, um, but I think what has happened is that the other person's, you know, or other people's opinions have basically just like blotted out, you know, your own opinion. Um, and, and what I want to do is at least, you know, start for you to think about what your own opinion might be or what your own belief might be of um, your worthiness um, so that we can at least, you know, get it on the table, yeah. um, right? Um, and, and give it, you know, its due place, I think. And like I said, part of it is, is I think, if you can think about this idea of, of choice, um, it, it can maybe feel a little bit scary, but I think it can also be very empowering to realize that you do have a choice in how you feel and what you do and, and what you think. Um, <clears throat> they're all interconnected, um, of course, but this gives you this huge amount of power to, you know, to determine how you feel about yourself and then how you behave in the world as well. Um, but yeah. I think even just like looking at that part of it can, can be an interesting thing um, Think about, well, how do I want to feel about myself? You know, what are the thoughts that I want to be having? Yeah, right. It's and interesting. I, right. And yeah, can I like you, sort of intentionally try to think those thoughts? Mm-hmm. Yeah, even just like the thing that you said about like, right, you have a choice about what you think about yourself. Wow, that's probably like big epiphany for I think so many people because I think so many people are living in, well, no, what, I, I'm not good enough. That's the truth and that's fact. And, and, but no, yeah, you can actually, you have a choice in the, in the matter, in the mix of, of is that true or not? That's, that's powerful. Right. I, I, you know, and, and that's true of so many things is that, again, I mean, there's, there's such, you know, so much of this is going on on the unconscious level that we're not even aware almost that, you know, the thought, the thought is yours, but, but the thought is yours because, you know, somebody has told you that about you at some point. Um, Again, whether you're, whether you're aware of it or whether they, you know, said it in in those exact words, or whether their behavior, you know, sort of brought you to that conclusion. Um, but, you know, if you think about, you know, little children don't inherently just think that they're unworthy, right? I mean, that has to come, you know, that idea has come from somebody else who has told them that, um, or behaved in a way towards them um, that caused them to have that idea about themselves. Um, yeah. All right, so that's not our natural state of, you know, um, feeling or thinking about ourselves. I mean, I, I think, you know, little kids generally feel pretty good about themselves, right, um, right? Um, until somebody has said to them, you know, there's something wrong with you. 